And there we have it, folks. AMD Ryzen. Okay, it's not Risen. You would think because Zen, and then there's an RY, it's Risen. No, it's Ryzen, like rye bread. And it's been newly announced. It's no longer AMD Zen. It's going to be AMD Ryzen. How's it going, guys? It's Billy here, and I'm really excited to be kind of reporting on this because as a PC builder myself, just seeing more competition in the CPU realm besides Intel is a great thing to see, especially since AMD hasn't released a new processor on a new platform. Like, they still release stuff on their AM3 platform up until a couple of years ago. But now we're getting a brand new AM4 platform with their brand new Ryzen CPUs. So what's really interesting to note about this one is we've gotten some more information, but the one that I was really looking forward to, which was price, we didn't get that. But let's go over some of the information that we did get. Let's start off with the things that people want to know. It's going to be an 8-core, 16-threaded CPU clocked in at 3.4 gigahertz, and it'll, of course, be overclockable. Now, the TDP for this, and that's the thermal design power, is going to be 95 watts. Now, in comparison to Intel's Broadwell E, which is what they were kind of comparing it to when they were doing these showcasing, they were comparing it to Intel's 6900K, which, get this, retails for over $1,000. And the TDP for the 6900K is 140 watts, so they're going to be doing this with over 55 watts of difference. And probably the biggest thing to note that Ryzen was actually equal or better than the i7-6900K in the test that they were doing. Guys, that is absolutely crazy. So they're comparing a over $1,000 processor against their very own that they're going to be releasing in Q1 of 2017. So for all of you system builders out there, look forward to this. I'm really excited for it myself. And to think that this thing is going to be coming out soon and competes with a $1,000 CPU and hopefully at a fraction of the cost, I'm absolutely livid about this. I'm really excited about it. And I wanted to share this news with you guys. So it's going to be showing up in the first quarter of 2017, anywhere in that first three months period. I hope it's not like at the end of March. I want to get my hands on the CPU ASAP. Now let's also talk about the AMD AM4 platform that's going to be coming out. So that's going to be replacing and unifying all of their platforms coming together, at least for this new release of CPUs. Of course, it's going to be supporting DDR4. It's going to be supporting PCIe Gen 3. It's also going to be supporting Gen 2, USB 3.1, NVMe, and SATA Express. All of those goodies that we're used to that we didn't see on previous AM3 Plus boards, we're finally going to be seeing them on the AM4 platform. Honestly, guys, I'm super excited about all of this. And let me know what you guys think about it as other PC builders themselves, or even someone who was thinking about buying a PC soon and was going to be building it. And a lot of people were saying, wait for Zen, wait for Zen. Let's see what they have to release first before making a decision. Now we have some more information, but we didn't get price yet out of the way. That's the thing I'm looking forward to the most, just to see where it stacks up against in terms of their lineup. But yes, until we get that pricing information and a little bit more information, probably more towards the end of this year and of course going into 2017, I'm really excited to be getting more information. And for you guys that have been waiting all this time, does this kind of information excite you, especially if you're going to be thinking about building a brand new system in the future? Be sure to let me know in the comment section below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, give me some feedback on it and let me know if I should be doing more news reporting on this. Honestly, I really enjoy the topics because as a PC builder myself, I like to see the competition really kicking up in the CPU realm. I've been buying Intel CPUs for a while before I was kind of a really enjoyed my AMD ones in the past that I did use. So I like to see that little resurgence of AMD coming back and, you know, competition is always good. Keep Intel on their toes. And that's what I'm looking forward to. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to press that thumbs up button to let me know. But if you didn't, press that thumbs down button instead. And be sure to let me know what you didn't enjoy in the comment section below so I can improve upon that for a new video. And that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I'm really excited about all of this news. And as more information comes up, I'll be sure to report it to you guys. And also be sure to check out my Twitter as well, because that's where I also have my little thoughts on things as well. And sometimes I retweet some information that I find, which I think is pretty neat. Either way though guys, thank you very, very much for watching today's video. I really, really appreciate it and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later.